All right, this will be my first little test, um, kind of a proof of concept. From what I got here, it's a couple of stainless steel rods. Just for this test, I probably could have used anything, copper or whatever. I'm going to try uh, this uh, six volt battery, and uh, for starters, let's see, I've got my allocator clips. I'm just going to connect to those here, and I think that's good enough. So, this is just regular old tap water. soda. And, uh, but first, before we do that, we're going to try 9 volts. Let's see what happens. You can see a tiny amount of bubbles on one of the rods. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. Tiny bit, tiny bit of production. But that is hydrogen coming off of there. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to run and get some uh, baking soda real quick and we'll see how that works out. Okay, I'm back. And uh, instead of baking soda, this is all I could find was the uh, Pet Fresh, but it's. Uh, it is basically baking soda is just some uh, good smelly stuff um, in it. So now uh, I'm going to make this uh, a little bit easier. And, uh, and first, I have to uh, I'm going to cut this in half just to uh, let's see. Just. Now I've uh, bro broken it into two pieces, um, and we got the uh, electrical tape here. And uh, let's see. How about I? And these almost as though I was going to make a set up the binding rods. Maybe I can uh, find some water or something. And uh, a couple of popsicle sticks. You really need to see this part. Uh, okay. Sticks. This is just to kind of keep them. Uh... Okay, so now we got. Always work towards anal retentive precision. Other people. Um, more like that, so you can kind of see what's going on there. Um, and uh, I'll try this again. This is without the baking soda. And you can kind of almost see, but not quite. There are some bubbles forming on the on the rods, and. Uh, See if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Yeah, see the bubbles are forming, and that's just plain uh, tap water with uh, nine volts there. That's all that is. Plain tap water, nine volts. Okay, so now we're going to put some electrolyte in there, and that will be the baking soda. Um, 
Let's see, directions. Doesn't have directions on it for building a uh, thing. Uh, well, okay. It does, I'm glad I read that because it, it does say uh, open other end, but I wouldn't have known. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of guess at that. So that's uh, whatever, a couple of teaspoons or something. Of your pet. And uh, it's not totally dissolving in the real ether that's around. Um, I'll see. And and that's that's not just regular. Okay, okay, now that's pretty much uh, dissolved. So. We got the baking soda in there acting as an electrolyte. You can use uh, all kinds of different things. Salt, vinegar, uh, you know, maybe some Italian dressing or something. And now let's see how this goes. Uh, yep, yeah, there's a little bit better production on there. You can see more and more of the bubbles going off of there. And, uh, yep, that is hydrogen. So, now we're going to try and, you know, and that's still with the, just the 9-volt uh, battery and uh, on there. So now we're going to try some slightly uh, higher voltage. And I've got to... Uh, create a, uh, a higher voltage supply so uh, I know I'll put one right about there okay so that's uh, 13 volts DC at 10 amps uh, 14 amp duty cycle and uh, I'm gonna hook my uh, leads up to it well, I think I can do that just by uh, throwing the leads at it and they'll just hook themselves up. Yeah, see that seemed to work. And so now I got the uh, the, uh, the two rods there in the water. And I got the alligator clips on there. And uh, let's turn this on and see if I can short everything out. Yep, there we go. There's uh, considerably more production there. And so we know that works, and I have no idea what sort of uh, amperage that's pulling, because uh, I don't really have an amp meter, I just have the cheap uh, thing. But it seems to be uh, picking up some steam <laughs> as far as. Uh, you know, doing that if you notice it comes off of uh, the one rod more than it comes off the other and that's because that rod is I believe that's the uh, negative rod there you see it's just sort of chugging away there at that um, so I think that's not really too bad for just uh, a couple of uh, uh, stainless steel rods. You can probably do that with about any sort of piece of wire or anything. Um, so let's uh, throw this up on the net and uh, then we'll move on to my next little project.